Hey guys, I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. I'm making some chicken stock. I had two uh, carcasses from Costco's rotisserie chickens in the freezer and I needed to clean the freezer up. And then I just had some veggies that I'm trying to get rid of. I basically diced six pounds of onions today. So I just put all those pills in here. And then I had some carrots that were um, starting to take a turn for the worse. I've got carrots in here, I've got cilantro, I've got shallot pills, um, just basically all the veggie scraps that I could find in my freezer, but here's those Costco carcasses. And I'm just gonna be cooking this low and slow for a few hours to get, um, to get it all incorporated and it's gonna be delicious. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it's four o'clock in the morning. I had turned this off earlier just so that I could let it cool and take off most of the fat and I won't be throwing this away. This could, I could use, find something to do with it. But, excuse my dirty oven mitt, but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. This has been on literally all day and all night. Like I said, it's 4 a.m., so I just want to show you guys what it looks like now. I mean, everything has basically <laughs> disintegrated in here, all the bones and stuff, so. I'm going to uh, turn off the heat and let it cool. Okay guys, so our chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup, our chicken broth has been in here like I said, for hours, and it's cool enough that we can strain it. So we're gonna strain it over into this pot. I'm just using a fine mesh strainer. And I skimmed off as much fat as I could. There's bound to still be some fat left in here, but that's okay. And this is really heavy, so I'm gonna try my best not to make a mess. I said I'd try my best. Nothing some paper towels can't fix. That is some beautiful chicken broth. Bring you guys over so you can see. It's super early in the morning, so excuse the lighting. Just gonna try and drain it all into this bowl here. Quick intermission to show you guys how pretty it is outside today. It's been raining all week, it's been tornado warnings, but it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put our broth into our jars. And this is like barely, 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 barely warm. So I just washed my jars and you don't have to sanitize your jars anymore, but I just run them, what is this called, ladle that I used to mix all this up. And I don't know if it's gonna fill four jars, I doubt it. But I just brought them in case. And I'm hoping there's not too much fat in here, but we'll see. Look how thick this, uh, not thick, but how 
creamy it looks. And you're supposed to leave an inch of headspace. So that is what I'm going to do. Which is just at this line here. stove in my Dutch oven cooking for a few hours and this is the, our beautiful broth that we got I'm so happy with that I tasted it it tasted amazing um, it smells like uh, chicken pot pie so you got four beautiful jars from two chicken carcasses and I have a seven quart or it might be six quart Dutch oven that I filled up to the top with water like I showed you guys before so I'm going to get the lids on this and I'm going to be using the Presto pressure canner for the first time. So let's see how that works. And of course the most important step is to wipe your rims with some white vinegar so that you don't run the risk of... Okay, so I just have my jars in here warming up, the liquid's in there, the actual stuff is in there, and I'm just going to let it warm up, and then when it comes to temperature, I'll bring you guys back. I forgot to show you guys, but it finished warming up, and now I just pressed this little button down here, and now it's heating up. Okay, so this just beeped and it's time for us to put our gauge on the on the pressure canner it's now in its cooling phase and we've got three minutes left and then when this timer is up I'm gonna go ahead and press the X button our um, dial thing has went down so that's a good sign that means that the pressure has been released and it's just gonna continue to cool for three more minutes. I think it said it does 10 minutes. And after that, I'll just press this X and then I can open it up and we'll see how our chicken broth looks. It's now done cooling. It says done here. So now we can go ahead and open it up.
And there is our chicken broth. I'm so excited. Now we just have to wait and see if they seal. So I'm going to wait 12 hours, take the lids off, and we'll know if they sold or not. So our chicken broth, or chicken stock, pressure canned perfectly. I'm obsessed with the pressure canner. It's so easy. You just press buttons and you're done. Um, so I 110% recommend it. But this wasn't a tutorial or anything. Make sure you read the manual, go on the company's website, read all the information. I just gave you what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to have some home canned chicken stock on the shelf. See you guys in my next video.